Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my mid-year bullet journal setup for 2023. I'll be using the Suki Four Seasons Summer Collectors Edition 2023 bullet journal that I bought from Notebook Therapy. I've just come back from Japan two days ago and I really wanted to paint a shrine theme for my bullet journal that reflects some of the scenes that I saw on my vacation. I also wanted to mix in a cottage core theme at the same time. I'm very jet lagged, so I apologize in advance if I'm not making any sense. I spent a good portion of my 10 hour flight thinking about how I wanted to design this scene for my bullet journal, which is why this time it's a little bit more complicated than some of my other paintings. And even though I didn't do much of a sketch, I thought that my theme this time turned out better than some of my other ones. For this painting, I tried to achieve more depth, and I also painted in more layers in order to try and add more details to each of the things that I'm painting in this scene. Here I'm working on my future log for July to December. Normally I set up my future log with all six months at a glance on one page, but this time I wanted to try something different where I'm cutting out the different pages so that each month is on a smaller page with tabs for easy access and slightly different doodles to decorate each month. I'm 
covering the tabs with washi tape to make them stand out from the green background. And then I decorate this future log as well as many of my other spreads for this mid-year setup with a lot of washi tape as well as stickers and some metallic highlights, especially with this gold calligraphy ink from Windsor and Newton that I bought just now. This alphabet stamp set that I got from the book therapy is also new as I went on a haul to reward myself for finishing one year of my master's program. I also bought a lot of stationary supplies in Japan and you'll be seeing me using them in this video and in my videos to come. Speaking of new stationery that I got in Japan, these highlighters that you're seeing me use now are ones that I just bought on this trip, as well as the stickers in the background, they are also a part of the haul that I got. I really like all of these colors that I got and the designs as they are very much my aesthetic. They are a lot of muted colors, kind of pastel, uh, a lot of florals, a lot of space and stars, and those kinds of really magical and soft aesthetic. For the remaining spreads, I mostly glued in papers and also washi tape and stickers. I didn't paint as much and I will not be recording and showing most of the steps as I feel that it's quite repetitive and nobody needs to see me gluing and pasting things and drawing lines forever. I decided to include two trackers as part of the mid-year setup because I want to be able to see at a glance my headaches and migraines as well as my periods um, so that I can see if there's any trends instead of tracking them monthly as I have been. And now for a flip through.
Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you soon.